All right, so this how-to video is how I made LED markers for my train. I use a bridge rectifier I got off of eBay. LED lights came from as well. Pretty much everything I use came from eBay. I post in the, I post in the description the links I got them from and where to get them at. Probably like ten twelve dollars for all this stuff and. I can make about five of four or five of them, I think. Maybe three. I forget how many resistors I got. But anyway. So what you gonna need? Bridge rectifier. If you look here, it is a GBU6 JRU. I'll post a link. Because sometimes they have it on there, sometimes they don't. Besides that. I bought 1.8 focus. Come on. Oh, this thing don't want to focus. Either way. There we go. 1.8 mil, 1.8 millimeter LEDs with the resistor already soldered in. So, because it is, I don't have to resolder no more resistors on my lights. The 12 volt power DC. Most of my lighting projects, I use 30 gauge, 30 gauge wire, magnet, it's pretty much magnetic wire, solid core. It works for everything under like, like an amp or so. Don't quote me on it. I use it for all my lights. Never had a problem with it yet. And pretty much to help it out better, 2200 microfarad capacitors. Make sure it's past 25 watts or 25 volts. Good God. <clears throat> Just in case you get a voltage spike on your um, DCC layout. Most of them, sometimes they run with 16 volts. Sometimes they might run 18. I'm not sure. So to play it safe, buy 25 volt. So wire, LED, bridge rectifier, capacitor. Don't forget your solder too. And also, you can try this. This is 330 second heat strength. It's tight. I already tried it off, off the camera. It does fit, but it's really tight to get on the wire. So you might have to go like the next size up. And when you heat up with strength, but this might come in handy to help everything stay together if, if you like to take your cars apart a lot. But yeah, so let's get started. All right, so first thing you got to do is add solder to every one of these tips. Not on the tip itself, but I got something to point with. Hold up. Special tool for modeling. So you want to add solder to each one of these. So that way you can put the capacitor on, the positive negative, your wires, your LEDs, and then the wires for going out to the wheel, the contacts for the wheels. So I'm going to do that off camera real quick and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so now that you got everything all soldered on, one, two, three, and four, the next thing you want to do is add your capacitors and add your LEDs for the negative and the positive side. So what it's going to be is track wires, well, yeah, wires to the track or wheels, pickups, whatever you want to call it, goes here and here, and it comes out negative on this side, positive for that side. This is why I use these, because whether it's DC or DCC power, it will still pick up the power, power either way, <coughs> sorry, and send it out to your negative positive only. So they will always work. No matter which way you put the car on the track. So, with that being said, I'm going to go back off camera for a second and add on the capacitor, which is right here. So, here's the thing, one thing about capacitors before I get off. There's a negative and there's a positive. You can see positive is always longer than negative. Also, 
nigga, all it has a stripe on it. If you do do this and add, decide to add it as an option, make sure you get, well, maybe I should hold this way so you can read it. 25 volts, 2200 microfarad. Some systems use 12 volts, some use 14, 16. I play it safe, I go 25. Can't burn it out if this is seized with a, what a DCC system will add on or will power up to. So when you do it, negative, negative, positive, positive. Same thing with your LEDs. However, you put your LEDs on, you put them on this way. That way, if you got any heat strain going, you just slide it off right onto the right onto the tabs when you get done, and string them on. So before you add your LEDs to the bridge rectifier, put heat streak going slide it all the way back. Now yes, this one using two LEDs, because I use two LEDs in my cars, of course left and right. You can do single, you can do however many you want. Just make sure they're all positive, all is negative. You put them on the same one here. If not, it would not work. <sighs> so let me go off camera real quick. Let me go take care of this and that. When we come back, it will all be together. Alright, I know I said I was going to do this off camera, but I figured I'd give it a shot and see how it goes with me doing it on camera. I'm not the best soldering person around, so bear with me. As know, the end result looks good. So, first thing I'll do, well, that's actually kind of in the way. First thing I would do is add my capacitor onto here. Let's bend it up some so it actually fits. Let's see. That should work. Yeah, I know it's not tight. So, let's see. Let's do a little bit of this. Let's heat up that one. Last but not least, well, let's not burn my finger off. This is why this comes in handy. Especially on the road a lot. Heat up this one. Now that it's on, let's do the LEDs. Alright, so once the capacitor is already on, next thing you gotta do is add the wires. So, like, like earlier, negatives on this side. Man, I made a wire a little too long. Actually, yeah, it is too long. I wish I was the name. One second. Doesn't need to be that long. Alright. Let's try this again. Yeah, sometimes I paint it behind trying to solder a wire that long without everything else coming apart. Negatives on. Whoopsie. Come on, cooperate. 
and positive one. Just like tug, they're good to go. <clears throat> so capacitors on, LEDs are on. All right, now everything's connected. Let's add on my 30 gauge wires that go down to my wheel pickups. Add one here. Add that one. And then last but not least, And voila, and then you're done. So quick recap, you have your bridge rectifier, which I will post a link in the description of what it is. You solder your capacitor to your negative and positive for the DC output. You solder your LEDs, best to put them together first and then solder them as well. To positive and negative on opposite sides and then you solder two wires to your ac inputs pretty much they're not out well, the inputs and outputs we're not gonna go through that story solder two wires to the ac uh pins and then you connect these to your wheels or con or pickups now this one was for demonstrations that's why it was kind of rough making it. I have a car already done. But for the meantime, we're going to test this one to show you what I mean. So, right here, I have a wire that's 12 volt outlet. That's 12 volt power. It's the plug to my cooler. If you haven't noticed, I'm doing this in a semi. But this is the plug to my cooler. One side is red, one side is blue. So, I'm stick one wire in that. By the way, where's the plug at? Oh, hold on, let me turn my soldering iron off or it takes a tumble and something gets burnt. A new hole gets burnt or something. All right, so here's the LEDs, here's the wires. And then. Here's my power supply. This is the proof that it works on DC, either direction. So one goes to one pin, one goes in the other, and here's your lights. So now I'm gonna flip it around so now the polarity is backwards and they're still coming on. So now you gotta take the power off, they don't turn off right away. So if you can see, most LEDs, you kill the power, they immediately turn off. But for these, they don't. So as you see, when you kill the power, you get about a good second, maybe two seconds for they're fully out. Thanks to the capacitor. Now you can go bigger, you can go smaller. I have it on a Amtrak baggage car right now, which actually has two of these in it. So it takes about about four seconds for the lights to fully dim out. But quick section of dirty track at track speeds, it's a quick flicker and you will barely notice it. I mean, I need a flicker. It's more like a quick a quick second of a dimming and you'll never notice it. It picks it right back up. Now. Maybe later on down the line, I might make kits, like already pre-make them and sell them. I might wind up doing that if you don't want to try it yourself. But leave a comment or find me on Facebook or get a hold of me somehow. I'll probably leave my email at the bottom as well. If you don't feel like doing it, I'll do it for you. I also probably have in my description as well, like, how much it would be if I do it for you. I'm not going to rob you because I don't believe in robbing people. But yeah. That's it. Until next video, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, like, share it, subscribe. 
Whatever you feel like doing, you do it. I'm not, I'm not your daddy. I ain't gonna tell you what to do, but it will help me out though. Until then, till next time.